Hey everybody, it's Cole. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here to hang out with me today. And I want to give an extra special thanks to my subscribers because I just reached a milestone moment of 100 subscribers. I'm so grateful. So thank you so much. It, it means a lot to me that you're committed <laughs> to watching enough to actually subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps me want to keep going. Let's get into it. Today we'll be reviewing Family Circle Magazine. This issue is from December 17th, 1991. It is exactly 19 years old as of the day that I'm filming this video. Uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek of the back, which is a wonderful back. I wish the back was the front because it's so cool. It is a misty cigarette ad. Look at how freaking cute this is with this smoker with her hat and her earrings and it says designed with good taste and i totally agree love this we should all start smoking misties not sponsored by the way anywho family circle december 17th 1991 let's get into it okay so on the cover we have the best of christmas 550 joyful ideas there's this wreath with some fabric angels with roses growing out of their heads. They don't have mouths, so they cannot sing carols. 30 free gift tags. Very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing those. Right inside the cover here, we have a minivan ad for a Chevrolet Lumina. It's a centerfold fold-out item. There's this cool graphic down here of different configurations of how you could fill the car and what it could be filled with, including stuffed animals, a potted plant. I also really like this graphic here of a sunbeam bouncing off of the Lumina windshield. Ah, cover girl, Christy Brinkley, advertising some tinted clear potions for your nails. Never go gray, Clairol. Three women beating up the word gray. You can see we have some really awesome gloves, a shoe. Oh my God, Jello Jigglers. Sure they're cute, but can they jiggle? And here's some dancing, like Keith Haring style movement lines with these Jello Jigglers. Do you remember Jello Jigglers and how this promise of like perfectly cut out cookie cutter jello jigglers was such a lie because they would never come out this clean they would always tear and they would always look horrible and be so disappointing oh and you could also certainly not lift them up by their gingerbread jello heads or they would just be beheaded here's a kmart ad for watches yellow gold brassy styles this heart one is particularly ugly, although I do like this fake like mother of pearl texture that they have going on. That's kind of nice. Emera, emeraud, emeraud? Uh, emerald style container. Um, bath products line, I guess. Ooh, cool. I love this chapstick ad. Oh my God, with this chapstick branded windsurfer boat? We have two chapstick users. She's got sunblock. He's got classic for his windsurfing activities. This is really cool. It's for men and women, so men don't be um, embarrassed to use a lip balm. It, even macho guys like this use it. Soft focus ad for Balika dolls. It's a sort of boring, run-of-the-mill plastic baby doll. What is so special about her? Nothing? It's just a miracle she can believe in, I guess. Whoa! Oh my god! This is beautiful! This is this is going to be the thumbnail. You've come a fa la 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 long way, baby. Seasons greetings, Virginia Slims. I love this! This is so fun! Matching red outfits, but they're all a little bit different. She's got a pleated skirt, mini skirt, opaque red tights, and these hats and everyone is smoking with their gloves on in front of this gigantic wreath. Ugh. Oh, cool. Lady Stetson. A declaration of independence. Kind of a go-go look here with white go-go boots and a white uh, vinyl rain jacket and an American flag umbrella. Really great 
you know, early 90s supermodel energy with this and also with this one too. Just a, what a great era for fashion photography. Windex professional strength, look how miserable she is. This woman with her perm, she also has an inflated looking striped shirt. Look at this. There's a shot in Snapped, in the intro sequence of Snapped, where there's a woman like holding up a bunch of pearls in her hands, <laughs> which looks just like this. Love it. Some nice, very stylized fashion illustrations of instant glamour, party perfect moves. Love this gigantic bow with a ruby in the middle. A sausage ad. This is a kind of like, I guess, the men's, the 90s men's version of this. Dueling women and then dueling men with two different types of sausages. He's, they're even positioned in the same way. He's grumpy about his sausage. They're probably a couple. And then this hot air balloon woman and this striped guy, they're also both wearing stripes, uh, so pleased with their uh, brown and serve sausage. Here's some vintage technology, an answering machine. I think I had an, we had an answering machine like this in my family. I remember like, rubbing my fingers on this ribbed speaker area. A neon Santa Claus with neon reindeer and this crisscross uh, like network grid across the planet to show you the coverage of these phones. Awesome. Ooh, <laughs> and I'd also like to point out these different color options for the cord. It comes in two tones of gray, blue and white. Love that blue cord. More weird food, Alpine lace, free and lean fat-free cheese singles, kind of grocery store fat marker writing. I'd like to point out this thumb of this woman grabbing the cheese is this pearlescent purple. I guess it really pops against the cheese. More pantyhose advertising. This She looks gorgeous with her pantyhose on in this modern, severe, well, I guess it's like a postmodern style chair. <laughs> um, okay, baby seals. This is a collectible plate. Roly-poly balls of snowy fur. Kit Cuisine Mega Meal. More good food, says this polar bear that's also a chef. Chicken nuggets with pasta sauce, corn, and a chocolate vanilla sandwich cookie. A curious combination. I guess you take what you can get when it comes to kid cuisine. Is it childish to hope the man you love will go out of his way to try to please you even once a year? Oh my god, that is so depressing. Our family gatherings making you sick? Ew! <laughs> Don't inherit family germs. Drink from a Dixie cup, disposable cup. Really cute little tulip print on these cups. Um, so this is quite disgusting. Grandpa, Lester, Joey, Susie, Dad, and Aunt Betty all sharing the same bathroom cup. Foul. And you can see there's like white, crusty lip crusts on the cup <laughs> just to make you extra grossed out. Some very soft focus Robitussin people. They're in this Robitussin haze as they sleep with a cold. Kind of looks like they're being overcome by carbon monoxide or something. <laughs> Pillsbury Doughboy <laughs> being led by some green cupcakes as he delivers dough <laughs> to the homes below. Snuggly sweaters <laughs> or Perhaps you could read this as ugly sweaters. Ooh, they're, uh, they're categorized by different people. Pom-pom fruits for kids. This is actually like kind of cool. I'm sure people would love to wear something like this nowadays. Hobo patches for grandpa, ugh, hobo. I'm glad that fell out of favor as making homelessness seem cute. Jingle bells for baby sis, there's bells on this sweater. Hood and pouch for teen, for your grunge teen. And of course, ugliest of all, glittery appliques for mom, so gaudy. Here's our Pillsbury Doughboy again. Again, gotta go fast. He's got some appetizers and 
I paused here because this stuff was very familiar to me. Maybe have you had these types of things at like open houses specifically? Vegetable pizza on a crescent roll with cream cheese and cut up fresh vegetables. Of course, pigs in a blanket. Crescent rolls, I think, had a real moment in the 90s where they were being used for like absolutely everything. Here he is again, Jesus Christ. He's peddling pie crusts now. I do like this graphic design choice of fitting in the illustration of how to do it along with the text all in one unit to make a pie shape. That's kind of cool. Here's Wilford Brimley talking to some kids about how they'll get diabetes if they eat this sugary cinnamon toast oatmeal. Ooh, hot. Try me. The young and the restless. This Neil's story continues. I like that little bit of spice sprinkled into this <laughs> mostly neutered magazine. No more burnt cookies. Really nice black to yellow gradient here in this text. What do you know? Here is this <laughs> Pillsbury Doughboy again. Look at him. He's exhausted at his own presence over and over and over again. Here's a Kmart ad with the cute guy shaving his face with an electric Noralco razor. And Brock's candy. Deck the halls with bowls of Brock's candy. Here's like all of the candies that no one has ever wanted. Those nougat things with the Christmas tree inside of it. And starlight mints and green and red. And those butterscotch things and the strawberry things. Grandma's purse candy, you know? <laughs> Which is fine, it has its own nostalgia to it. This mom is so pleased that she can hardly speak at receiving a Dust Buster Plus for Christmas. Mmm, what do you think, ladies? Do you want to receive a vacuum for Christmas? Okay, let's get into this. It's another, this is another Black & Decker ad. This was a Black & Decker vacuum ad. Here we are, continuing on with the Black & Decker products coffee maker. How great is this solid, opaque plastic coffee pitcher? So you cannot see how much coffee you have made. There's a real, actual clock built into it. And over here, this, I've never seen anything like this before, Space Maker. It's like a multi-port appliance command center with a toaster oven she's gonna bake a pie in, can opener, bottle opener, coffee makers, multiple coffee makers all attached to the underside of this cabinet. That is so crazy. Oh, more Black & Decker. I do really like this these dark, yellow-toned holiday photographs. They're very cozy, feel very like overheated <laughs> in a way that makes you sleepy. I'm making it sound bad, but I think it sounds nice. Here's the holiday dinner. Again, we have the same people. Same headband girl. She's still got her headband on. She moved it forward a bit for the formal dinner. Mom is wearing purple in every shot. Whoa, this is crazy. This is really long. Another, there's, here she's got her vacuum out so she can vacuum up Cheerios. What happened? Why is there so much crap all over the ground? And finally, Christmas morning again? Maybe a year has passed and we're getting a, the tiniest food processor you could ever imagine. Gift gallery. Whoa. Big Bird Story Magic. This would be like an animatronic hard-bodied big bird that has, I'm sure, like a tape, a cassette tape player built into its back. We had one that was a Mickey Mouse one that was kind of scary. Porcelain Marilyn Monroe doll. Her legend, her legacy, her love. What is this? Gentlemen's prefer blonde's dress. They did a good job on this as a likeness of her, I think. And I like the textures of all of this fabric. It looks very luxurious and expensive. Oh, here's the gift tags we were promised. 30 frosty tags. Ew, they're snowman themed. Oh, one of them is cut out. This magazine from, is from a thrift store, of course. And um, someone cut out one single tag. <laughs> Why is that making me sad? Ooh, oh, I like this a lot. Sunbeam electric blanket, two beds. Another competition between two women, although it seems to be the same woman in each scenario, one with pink and one with blue. Finally, something that responds to your needs in bed. <laughs> oh my god. The blanket with a brain. 
this weird ad for Italian seasonings in a packet. It says, Ann Thompson used three packets of good seasons this week and didn't make a single salad. What do you think she did with it? Do you think she snorted it? Oh, here's the follow-up. <laughs> quite a few pages later for Ann Thompson's Italian seasoning drug problem. Turns out she used it to make a mayonnaise base <laughs> a chip dip. Yum. Here we go again. Anne is putting some snap in her beans. The comfort zone. It says some people really appreciate that Northern Big Roll has 50% more sheets. It's an ad for Northern toilet paper. And you can see this really long line of little girls in a really excellent uh, fashion show of elementary school 1991 fashion. It's got all of the greatest hits, lots of Mary Jane shoes with opaque white tights, long sleeve dresses with drop waists, turtlenecks, all primary colors. <laughs> this girl's like totally pissed. She should be. And I guess the joke of this is that someone is just wiping their cooter or their butt over and over and over again because they love this toilet paper so much. It's pretty relatable, right? Hey, this is that same uh, this bow, <laughs> bow sweater from that page all the way back there with all those ugly sweaters together, the snuggly ugly sweaters. There it is on Little Sis, just like they said it was going to be. Last page is a, a short story about the scent of Christmas. The smell of fresh scrubbed faces and a Tylenol chewables ad. This fresh scrubbed face you can scratch and sniff if you want to. That's it. On the back again, what a fabulous ad for Misty. We have uh, our smoker with a white straw hat and some fluffy like chiffon scarf flower business going on. These really cool transparent plastic dangly earrings that are in pink and uh, yellow and orange, red lip, pink background, so feminine and so flirty and fun, designed with taste, absolutely. Very eye-catching, very uh, addicting. <laughs> That's it. Family Circle, December 17th, 1991. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I love all of this festive, nostalgia, especially around Christmas, being nostalgic is the thing to do. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all next Sunday for another new video. And until then, take care and happy holidays.